Hello everyone, welcome back to freaking BLG Gaming and today I make a new video on a part 2 of advanced debuffs. So what do we say debuffs was? If you watch my video that is on a part 1, you realize we talk a lot about debuffs over there and we talk about the special debuffs which are the Siege HP debuffs which is the new updated debuffs which is making your defense so great, okay? So we showed report and proofs of the CGHP debuffs working and how to get them and all those stuffs. So guys, if you missed other video, it is just below my, it is my one of my latest videos. So just subscribe to my channel and look through my channel and you're gonna see advanced debuffs part one. It talks a lot about how to get the CGHP debuffs, the siege debuffs higher and some new updates on debuffs. Okay, so if you're liking all this, then please watch this out. Now let's go to the past two. What are we going to look at when it comes to the past two? So welcome once again to freaking BLJ non quenness gaming, which everyone benefits, both quenness and non quenness benefits. Let's go. So we're talking about advanced debuffs part two. Okay, now what are we looking up to see in this video? Now we're going to look at a gear arrangement for this video. That is the old gear that we all know. So let's just go. Let me show you. So right here. If you should look at this. If you should look at the generals. This, this is what we all know um, to select when it comes to debuffs. Okay. We know you're supposed to select the um, Archimedes Axe. Which is giving 40% ground troop HP and 40% enemy range troop HP. This is what we are looking at, right? And then we know we are supposed to choose this, which is either this or the courageous, which I prefer the courageous over that. So, getting C machine attack 35% here and mounted defense 35% here, right? And also choosing the courageous boots to get 35% siege and mounted 35%, right? Also, the courageous to get some ground defense and gun HP, very important here. And also here to get some range to defense and siege machine attack, right? And also this one to give some range to um, attack here. So this is the normal gear we all know, which you can upgrade for it to be like this, right? Getting 48% here, getting about 48% here too, getting 42% here, increasing by 42% here, also 42 here, and 42 here as well, right? We all know these gears and we know how good these gears are. Okay, but let's talk about this, let's analyze this and see. The importance of this gear is that you get more range debuffs, you get more siege debuffs, okay, you get more ground troop HP debuffs, and then you also get um, some mounted defense debuffs over here, and then some mounted attacks over here as well, okay. So this buff or this debuffing gear is like an all round, but it doesn't cover everything. So let's talk about advantages. The advantage is that this this um, debuffs are easy to get, or these gears are easy to craft. Are easy to craft, and they increase your range, and then your siege debuffs, which is very important. Okay, and your ground troop HP debuffs as well, and some mounted attack and um, defense and HP as well. Okay, but all these ones are moderate. So. Let's go to the disadvantages. If this is increasing your debuffs, but leaving some of them out, okay? Let's look at the disadvantages. One, this gears is leaving siege HP and siege defense out. If you should look at this very carefully, you realize there's nothing like siege HP debuffs right there. There's nothing like siege HP debuffs right there, okay? Two, this this same gears, okay, this same gears, you realize that 
it is giving more of the ground troop HP but less of the ground troop defense so you can watch right here realize over here it's giving more ground troop HP and there's no ground troop defense over here except for this gear which is giving just one so if you have just nine subs that means you are getting 42 times nine and that will be so low for your ground defense so this is giving double ground troop hp debuffs double ground troop hp debuffs but it's given just one ground troop defense debuffs and that is so bad okay now we are also getting mounted attack right here but it's also few and we are getting um few mounted hp and defenses okay so we are lacking some stuff like siege hp we are lacking some stuff like um mounted sorry ground defense okay and we are lacking some um stuffs on also mounted okay so this gear is good yes it's good let's make a screenshot so this gear is good yes perfect but you're lacking siege hp you're lacking ground defense okay and remember there are more ways to correct this or it's not just by i always say this in my videos that you getting your debuffs or you get your defense higher it's not about copying everyone but how you build it okay on what you need so let's go and let me teach you what i did to get mine so high now what did i do this is a normal gear everyone uses okay but i look into my keep and i realize what i'm lacking so i realized from my reports most people used to hit me with grounds because they realized my ground defense was so low so a key 44 or a 43 will just keep on hitting me grounds hitting me grounds and my two three hits boom i'm dead or when, when they realize i've been hit like two times and i'm down they just ground me and i'm gone so i plan on increasing my ground and then my siege hp so if you didn't watch the part one then you miss a lot because my siege hp or the video of the siege hp how to increase your siege hp is right in the part one okay it's right in the part one which you have to go watch it which you have to go watch it how to increase your siege hp debuffs okay now let's talk about what to do to correct these things so this is why i did let's go corrections so freaking biology sets two sets involved one quenness sets two for both quenness and non quenness let's talk about the first set okay this is what i did I always choose this guy. So let's go to the Quenness set that we come to the non Quenness set. Okay. Now for the Quenness set, this is what I did. I was able to get this gears that give siege machine HP. So I, I thought the importance of the siege HP. I'm repeating this again. So if you've not watched the part one, then you will not be understanding this video very well. So please try to get this part one after you finish watching this. Okay. So or you can you can just go back and watch a part one and come back so watch this siege hp minus 45 percent okay so i explained the importance of siege hp in that video and I, I got this gear from the civilization um equipment okay and this also giving some siege hp and range hp as well okay and i also got this gear right here right here siege hp and range shield defense and then some ground attack and mounted attack okay so i select this gears one two three okay and then last one is right here Okay, should be around here. When you 
have a lot of subsidies in general that's what happens to you so right here okay and this is the fourth one with the augustus leg armor which most people i know most people use this gear okay giving some siege hp right here too and then some good range and siege machine attack debuffs here in fact an all-round debuffs here okay and also this giving some good debuffs right here okay so these are the gears i select for the um corner section and these are the gears i used now i have a friend who have upgraded these gears to get um five stars and all those ones making his siege hp and all that debuffs so high so if you're a corner then you should be looking up these gears okay and there are more gears in the civilization stages where you can go there right here where you can come here and then look at them look at how good they are okay and then choose them so those are the corner sets now what do i add to this corner set to make it so special it is simple this the majestic imperial armor now you can only have this if you have your wings okay so i also have a video um of how to get your wings on my channel make sure you subscribe to get all these videos how to get your wings easily on my channel now watch this the majestic imperial armor okay this is giving a ground troop defense of 25 percent ground troop hp 25 percent and the most important ones enemy range troop 34 percent enemy siege a machine attack 34 percent okay now let's compare this gear to the normal gear that we all know So this is the normal gear that we all know. The normal gear says C machine attack 25%, defense 25%, enemy siege machine attack 42%, enemy mounted troop attack 42%. Okay, now this, this, comparing this to that, which one do you think is much important or much better? Because for us to increase our debuffs, we're looking mostly at our siege and our range. So with this siege and with this range, okay it is much better than this it's much better than this but however you'll be increasing it all roundly okay so we mix them so i call this a quenness set i call this a quenness set just choose the civilization gears the best ones okay and you can add this if you do not have any gear over here so i have another sets over here let me look at that and also show you that one so okay right here so i was able to get this one the abbas braces which giving my siege hp and this and then some ground and mounted attack over here okay and i also changed this to the majestic imperial armor how can you get this majestic imperial armor it is the aris armor it is the aris armor that we all know so you you upgrading this into um the the normal you upgrading this into the normal arrays and then upgrading the arrays into there so let's go to the crafting section and look at that so crafts right here so dragon set okay you go into the dragon set come in here and then you choosing dragon set and then you come in here so we have the mounted one and then we have the C one. So you choose this, okay, and you craft it. Choose this and you craft it. So once you craft this, you can go to the upgrade section. Go to the upgrade section, come over here, okay, and then select that one. So which is going to give you enemy range to attack of 20 percent okay and enemy machine at 20 percent again and you can upgrade this you can upgrade this using some badges and some gold and some materials right here and also upgrade it to the imperial section okay so that is what i'm talking about right here so watch so i call that a quenness set okay i call that a quenness set so you just get the gears the right gears on 
So you can get this one as well to balance your range and your siege attack. Okay. Now, to the down said, let's go. You do not have any money or any um, civilization gears to craft all the special um, buffs or debuffs producing gears. Okay. So what do you do? Just choose your normal gears, right? Choose your normal gears. Just like this, right? But just make one change. What is the change I'm talking about here? Now, we want to increase our ground tube. We want to increase our ground tube defense. So your ground defense. And we want to increase our siege HP. And we want to increase our range and siege attack. Okay. Now, these are the three things we want to increase. But listen, however, you cannot increase your siege HP when you do not quen, um, unfortunately, unless you use the generals. So I'm going to teach that one in the, la in the latter part, okay? So don't worry about that. So when it comes to the gears, you ignore the siege HP when you do not quen, okay? Now, let's come to the ground defense. What can you do to increase your ground defense, your range attack, and your, and your siege attack? Let's go. It is simple. What do you do? Instead of you using this patient axe or the community axe, switch this axe into this, the patient spear. Okay, now let's compare the attributes. This is giving a ground, enemy ground troop defense of minus 48% and enemy ground troop HP of minus 48%. Now let's look at this. This is giving enemy ground troop HP 48%, enemy range troop HP 48%. But listen, we are not focusing on range troop HP. We are focusing on range troop attack. So instead of focusing on the range troop HP, rather focus on the attack or choose the ground troop defense since you are lacking in that. Okay? Since you are lacking in that. Now, with this comes comfort, so you can mix it more of this and then less of what? Of that. So more of the patient spear and then less of the accumulated axe or the patient axe. Okay. Now, with this, you are balancing your ground troop defense. With this, you are balancing your ground troop defense. Okay. Now, aside from that, you can also craft these gears. Can also craft these gears to increase more of your range and more of your siege. So if you did not know this, this is the simplest way to increase your range and your siege attack, and as well as your ground troop defense. So you can check your ground troop defense um, debuffs. If it is so low, then this is what you're supposed to do. And this is the gears that goes with it. So the normal gears, and you changing the patient, you changing the patient spear axe to the patient spear. Okay, so what else? What else can you do? Now, when it comes to increasing your siege HP, because you do not have the, the special gears, what do you do? You focus on the generals. Some generals are there that gives good HP, like this new general that was introduced, this general. So I talked a lot about this general in my um, part one. Okay, so if you do not watch it, please go watch it. So, with this one, it gives more siege HP and I think a general HP to everyone, as well as one great um, general, Nero. Nero, as tattoo, is giving good buffs, good debuffs um, when it comes to HP. So, guys, make sure you subscribe to this channel and you watch the part one because if you're lacking, Siege HP, there's a rule in Siege HP that you even have to know. So if you're lacking this, guys, then you have to watch that video. So just click on that video now and watch it.